నమస్తే సృష్టి ప్రెసెన్స్ అండ్ ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్ సిరీస్ ఆన్ సీక్రెట్స్ ఆఫ్ వృంతావన అండ్ ద డివైన్ టేల్స్ ఆఫ్ కృష్ణ ఫ్రమ్ కుమార వైష్ణవ సంప్రదాయ స్టోరీ టెల్లర్ ఓజస్విత చతుర్వేది నమస్తే డియర్ చిల్డ్రన్ హియర్ వీ ఆర్ అగైన్ టుగెదర్ ఆన్ అన్ ఎక్స్పెడిషన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎన్చాంటింగ్ ఫారెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ రజమండల these forests are not ordinary and have been revered from time immemorial bhakti ratnakara says dwadash vipinna yukta shri madhura puri punya papa har shubha apurva madhuri there are 12 forests in rajamandala they represent punya they steal away our papa and bestow auspiciousness on everybody with their sweetness so hopefully you are all enjoying the yatra and also keeping count of the forests we have covered eight forests until now and today we have a very special episode as the forests we will be discussing are all centered around shri balarama the elder brother of krishna none other than ananta shesha himself he not only joins the lord in every avatar but also serves him in so many other ways actually balaram ji is as grand as krishna himself and his leelas can be a separate series of stories but today we will focus on his forests talavan is a forest of tala trees a type of palm fruit and the trees very much resemble coconut trees in the bygone times a demon named dhenuka sura in the form of a donkey guarded this forest for kansa on one day while krishna and balarama were grazing cows their friends were intimidated by the fragrance of tala fruits following the smell they all reached talavan they entered the forest with their herd of cows and were planning to pick up some fruits from the trees but the trees were very high and they were trying to get to the fruits as they began their activity the demon heard them and began to rush towards them braying loudly you all must be thinking like always krishna must have killed him but guess what that didn't happen today as dhenuka sura approached the cowherd boys balarama stood on its way the angry demon tried to attack balarama by kicking him from his hind legs just like a donkey always does a donkey kicks from its behind legs but this time balarama simply caught hold of his legs twirled him around in the air and threw him on a tree not only did the demon pass away but all the tala fruits also easily came on the ground balarama was very straight forward in his activities he never spent time playing with demons like little krishna did he was the epitome of strength but just as the cowherd boys began to sing about his glories many other friends of dhenuka sur in the form of donkeys came rushing towards balarama krishna joined hands this time and followed suit of what his elder brother had done they both caught the hind legs of the demons one by one twirled them in the air and threw them on top of the trees handling two birds with a single shot every time the demons would die and the fruits would come on the ground After the demons were over the two brothers looked at each other hugged each other and had a great laugh recollecting on how mere donkeys were trying to attack them the gopas happily picked up the fruits and had loads to carry back home as well being a forest that speaks loud about the valor of shri balarama there is a very famous temple of dauji balaram ji in this forest balaram ji is also known as dauji the elder brother Brajwasi say that as the elder brother Dauji is the king of Raja and everything happens here according to his wish Dauji is seen with his consort Revati in this temple the deity is 2 meters in height and is the biggest deity in the whole of Raja Mandala next let us wander into Bhadravana Balarama is also known as Balabhadra and this forest is his playground it is named after him bhadravana just like krishna used to meet up with his gopikas in vrindavana balarama used to meet his gopikas in bhadravana there are some very beautiful pastimes of krishna and balaram in this forest the first hair cutting ceremony keshakartan leela 
of both the babies Krishna and Balarama was performed in the forest of Bhadravana. The boys used to love to come to this place to graze their cows because of the large grasslands. They used to rest nearby a kadamba tree while the cows grazed and when the cows moved far away, both brothers used to call out the individual names of the cows. Nandini, Dhusar, come back, come back here. And surprisingly, however far the cows went, the cows used to come back. And however many cows they were, Krishna and Balaram would remember each and every name of the cow. Do you know that Nanda Maharaj himself had over 9 lakh cows? But Krishna and Balaram knew all the names not only of their cows, but of their friends' cows as well. This tree came to be known as Tera Kadamb. Tera in Bridge Bhasha means to call out. Since Krishna used to call out for the cows from this tree, it got its name Tera Kadamba. The neem trees here in this forest were also very nourished and Mother Yashoda used to send her servants specially to pick up twigs of the neem tree from here to use as toothbrushes for Krishna and Balarama. So today we have covered two forests very dear to Sri Balarama and now Two very special forests are remaining. These forests are the crown jewels not only of Raja but of the whole universe. So keep anticipating and enjoy the bliss. See you next time. Bye.